today I'm going to show you how to detail and clean your engine bay. As you can see this one here is pretty dirty. Um, we've got like flakes of mud and sediment or whatever the heck that crap is. Um, I bought this vehicle and it's just kind of had stuff like this all over. Um, I ended up pulling the engine because everything was so dirty. Um, but basically the whole engine this side pretty much looked like that. So that's getting clean. That will be a video on its own. But this will be just the bay. So as you can see, like I said, pretty dirty. Uh, we've got some fluids here um, that need to be dealt with and assessed, scraped. Uh, but the main thing is going to be getting these clips and things like that um, kind of just removed and out of the way so that way I can move the wire loom up like so. So this is my uh, engine wiring and most of it is up here. Um, if you need to secure it, you can secure it however. Um, just make sure it's out of the way and you can get to what you need to get to. I have a couple things down here like this fuel line uh, that need to move and uh, get up in here somewhere so that way on this portion of the subframe I can get a real good clean and I'm going to show you an example of what it looks like once it's all clean. Looks really good for it being white it's not too bad and it had some more of that fluid but on camera you could probably barely tell. Uh, most of it I got up pretty good but wire loom uh, is, is tucked over this way so once it's all just clean and ready i can put this down and uh all these can go back in their, in their little spots the holes and everything so we'll start over here start uh cleaning up i'm using this product here um, the gunk engine degreaser and the foam type as well um because the foam kind of like sits up and and uh kind of eats it away a little bit this is just uh it, it runs off really quick so i would recommend using a combination of both and for my sticky stuff that's on the bay i'm going to be using a plastic scraper um you don't want to use a regular razor blade because it will chip your paint so this is a safe thing to use um to get off any kind of oil or whatever you may have like that so anyway let me set the camera up and uh, get started
Both sides of the bay and the center are now clean. You see a big difference on that um, pan back there. But there's definitely a lot of oil and things like that all caked up. I've got quite a mess here to clean up, but it's pretty it's pretty good. It looks better on camera than it does in person, but it's gonna be much better. At the end of the day, it is just an engine bay. So definitely not 100% perfect. There's some areas back there probably could get um, which I may or may not do off camera, but this looks pretty good. Pretty happy with this, how this came out. So, next up, um, I'm going to be, now that this is kind of clean, I'll bring these wires down, other things kind of hang back, and uh, I need to start disassembling the engine, and then um, getting the head sent out to the machine shop, and then start... Um, taking off the rest of the AC accessories and just degreasing that so um, yeah this has been quite a process for sure but uh, it's all coming to an end here so this is my right side harness loom Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, once that bolt cinched out. Anyway, this is the other side. And the two hands. really really dirty um, this whole unit still kind of needs to be clean but these were dirty but all these hoses are getting replaced anyway I'll keep the unit and yeah got a couple little accessory pieces clips things like that uh, I'll probably end up letting little things uh, soak into a little bin of degreaser or something if I can um, but I mean overall once I start putting stuff back together, I'll give it a quick wipe down, but this looks really good. And uh, hopefully, I'm hoping, um, I haven't even touched the engine yet, so I'm really hoping that everything is straight with the bottom end. I did a compression test, so I do kind of have an idea on, uh, on what's going on. I just hope there's not any cracked pistons or anything like that. Um, otherwise, I might be looking at a swap for this, so... Anyway, here it is. Oh, it looks so much better on camera than it does in real life. This is bad catfish. Um, for anybody wondering, these harder to get areas, no, I didn't get all of it. Um, but really most of that's not even going to be seen anyway. I only kind of see it now. But I tried my best to kind of get it. This side I got a little bit more off but as you can see up in these areas it's just kind of rough i'm really not sure what exactly that stuff is um looks like some kind of maybe sealant looks like maybe this piece was just put on i have no idea i try to look on this side it looks to be and this is kind of dirty up in here i'll probably pressure wash that but these bolts don't look moved at all these ones kind of do here. That doesn't. That doesn't. That this is a little off. That's a little off too. But anyway, regardless, we are going to work on the engine next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.